One, two, radio check on Fox. Liam and Charlie, push 270.5 and 145.00 and check in. Two's up on Victor, how copy? 555, go uniform. And here's uniform. And I've got your 555 on uniform. And back to Fox. Hey, thanks for doing this with me. Should be a pretty memorable flight. Not a problem. Thank you for the opportunity to do this. Yeah, sure thing. So we're going to be launching a little bit early just in case you run into some unexpected trouble. We wouldn't want to miss the show, would we? If we launch on time, we'll waste it up in the air by going and doing some sightseeing, unless you've got a problem with a low-level flight over clear Las Vegas airspace. Not at all. Yeah, didn't figure. Let's grab the ATIS and get the aircraft started up. Find aircraft type on first contact. Nellis Air Force Base Information Romeo. Time 0300. Wind 190 at 4. Visibility greater than 10 pull miles. Pull up, pull up. Clear. Temperature 31, dew point Altitude, altitude. Altimeter 30, decimal 27. Nellis Air Force Base Information Romeo. Time 0300. Wind 190 at 4. Visibility greater than 10 miles. Clear. Temperature 31, 2.17. Altimeter 30, decimal 27. Runway to U03 right, 21 left. Expect visual approach. Acknowledge receipt of information Romeo and advise aircraft type on first contact. Nellis Air Force Base Information Romeo. Time 0300. Wind 190 at 4. Visibility greater than 10 miles. Clear. Temperature 31, 2.17. Altimeter 30, decimal 2. Alright. Uh, Kermit, heads up, I'm having some issues here. Stand by one. Raj. Did you get it sorted? Uh, the HUD came on as normal, then started flashing a few seconds later. I'm still looking into it a little shit. You good, dude? Okay, I'm gonna have some steps to spare. Uh, HUD turned off, followed by some smoke and a cockpit. So this is gonna be a ground aboard. Uh, continue with startup and go ahead and take off. I'll meet you over MOFA once I'm up. Cool. Damn, man. Okay, yeah, I copy all. I'll just press and meet you at MOPA. Ground Liberty 1 2, be advised. 1 1 had to go to the spare, so I'm going to be a sink. Ground Reach 2 4 3, grab back to from the transit. Clear to taxi, Charlie, Golf Alpha, hold short, zero three, right, Liberty one, two.
Contact Tower, Liberty 1-2. Tower Liberty 1-2, holding 0-3, right at Alpha, ready for departure. Liberty 1-2, now it's Tower, wind 190 at 4, clear for takeoff, 0-3, right. Clear for takeoff, 0-3, right, Liberty 1-2. Departure Liberty 1 2 with you at 5000, heading towards Malapa. Warning, autopilot. Liberty 1 2, now it's departure, radar contact, resume on navigation. Resuming on navigation, Liberty 1 2.
Warning, autopilot. Warning, autopilot.
Just in time. And my track car keeps falling off. One, you got a copy? Hey, good to see you. I've got you, Lima Charlie. Right on. Okay, I'm heading your way. Just think you're up there. I'm over about 7,000 feet and I'll pick you up. Copy. We're still good on fire, so we'll mess around. Meade is in the dam before we push to Vegas if you're still happy to do so. Hell yeah, might as well. Cool. Alright, so this is a good moment to teach you a handy way to pick up another A-10 visually using the TAD and the HUD. First, destroy the TAD. Then flew your cursor over my aircraft. And let me know when you've got that far. I'll press TMS up short to hook me in the TAD. Once you've done that, you should now see two dashed lines extending out of the TVV and the HUD. These are the hook ship locator lines and they point towards my aircraft. Once my aircraft is inside of the HUD to build a view, you should see a dashed box. This box is the hook ship location box and the hook aircraft, me in that case, will be in the center of that box. Go ahead and give that a try, and let me know once you're happy with it. Wow, that's really handy. I can see this will make rejoin so much easier, especially at night and, and reduce visibility. I think your saddle's one of the best improvements coming from the Alpha. Yeah, the saddle adds a ton to your SA and helps streamline a lot of processes. It will really come into its stride once you get a little further in your training and start putting warheads on foreheads. Looking forward to it.
Yeah, well, the saddle and the DGP as well, because... Why not? Warning, autopilot. And the hammocks. Which we haven't touched yet. Which is strange. It's okay that the AI can follow every movement that I make, but uh, if he's going to be lead, I need to know when he's going to make a turn or not. I should hold, etc. Warning, autopilot.
That's a pretty rugged terrain down there. Yeah, it looks pretty raw. Everything west of that from the ground up in here. 
another left turn coming up. Yep. So, Patriot is Lotus, Major Roberts. Have you met her already? Negative. We've never been formally introduced. Man, she knows the jet inside out. And on top of that, she's pretty alright. Expect to fly with her on a store day or two through your training. Awesome. That'll be a very welcome change of pace. Wow, really? So you only have four or five sorties in before you guys want to jump ship. <laughs> Just busting your balls. You're doing fine. Stand by for a two minute hack. Roger. Five, four, three, two, one, hack. Two minutes. Copy, two minute hack. Okay, left hand turn and let's roll. Right behind you. Alright bruh, let's make the 190th look good. Always. Stand by for the tip end. Two's ready. Approach, your Liberty One is out of the hold, pressing towards its drip and descending to 3000. Liberty, the airspace is yours. Thank you guys for doing this. Our distinct pleasure. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna need to slow down a little bit to start getting into formation. Roger. Liberty's in from the south and looking good. Copy, Liberty. Be ready if we need to slow it down or push it up if they're playing faster. Timing looks good for now. Looks like we may be slowing down a bit. Stand by. Plus 10 seconds. Copy. Yay, big timing. You're looking good. Working at it. Alright, here comes the statue. Shit, hot guys. That looked great. Coming to the right, following the boulevard. Alright guys, have fun. That looked great. Well done. Okay, that's the end of the path. Let's pick it up a bit of altitude and contact approach. Roger. Warning, autopilot. Approach, your Liberty One is three miles off to your southwest, looking to join the pattern up at the truck stop. 
Liberty, now approach, continue inbound for the truck stop, expect single ship landing, clearance for 2-1 left. Continue for the truck stop, Liberty. Now pull up, pull up.
contact tower. Liberty 1-2 is inbound for 21 left in, switching your tower. See ya. Now let's tower at Liberty 1-2, 10 miles north of the field for the straight in. Liberty 1-2, knowledge tower, copy. Report 5 mile final, 2-1 left. Report 5 mile final for Liberty 1-2. Liberty 1-1, one, Dallas one, Tower, contact ground when able. Liberty 1-1, one, one, switching to ground. Um, shouldn't I land first? Or something. Liberty one two is five mile final, gear down, full stop for twenty one left. Liberty one two, Nellis Tower, wind one nine zero at four, clear to land, two one left. Clear to land, twenty one left, Liberty one two. Altitude, altitude. gonna touch the radio until I come off to a full stop. Period.
Nellis Ground, Liberty 1-2, looking for taxi back to Thunder. Liberty 1-2, Nellis Ground, taxi to Thunder via Golf Charlie. Taxi Golf Charlie to Thunder, Liberty 1-2. Nope. <laughs> yes. A few of us are popping over to the Yo Club here in a bit. Should be a bit rowdy. Sounds like my kind of party. I'm in. Sweet. You can DD for us. See you in a bit. Oh, come on, dude. Biff? Biff. <laughs> All right. 